Hello there, so today we're making this peplum belt, so stay tuned. Okay, so to begin with, I used a um, half yard of fabric. I have a lot of this fabric, so I just cut half yard longitudinally, and that's what I'm going to be using. So I cut it in two because I wanted it to be like a square. So you need scissors, pins, and something to mark your lines. So I'll start with working with one piece. So I folded it in two. Then I folded it again. So it looks like a square. <clears throat> and then I just drew something like a curve to make it look like a semicircle when I cut. It doesn't have to be a perfect semicircle. So I just drew my line and then I drew another one at the point where it meets all the parts meet i didn't really measure but you could measure like 2.5 inches or 3 inches on both sides and then draw your arc then i just went ahead and cut it so after cutting this is how it looks So I went ahead and cut one side of it just so that it opens up and I did the same for the other piece of the fabric. So here I'm going to be putting them such that the good side of the fabric faces towards each other. This is how the peplum would virtually look like. So I place them so that the good sides are facing each other. And then I pinned around from the place where I cut. I pinned from there all around the fabric so that I would sew from the open side then I sew all around then I end at the other open side so after pinning I just went ahead and sewed everything up and then after sewing I had to turn it right side so I turned it and this is how it looks when it's turned yeah, so this is how the peplum is going to look so we are done with the base of the peplum moving on to the belt okay so i had this uh like one and a half piece fabric so i folded it wrong side and then i sew the edges i measured around my waist and then i sew the edges so that i have a neat ending so i just sewed it and then i turned it right side out again and then i ironed it flat so it, it's actually flat so we're just going to place this on the peplum again and then i just went ahead and pinned it so that i can be able to sew it properly So yeah, I pinned it and then I just went ahead and sewed it onto it. Because I used my waist measurement for the belt, it didn't need any extra. So after sewing this, how it looks. And, and this other, this is a hook and I, I don't know whether that's what's called, but this is a hook and I to me. So I just sewed it to one side the hook to one side and then at the other side i made sure that the eye would fit no this is the eye <laughs> i made sure the hook will fit into the eye and then i sewed it back up like making sure it will fit and then i sewed it this one was one was the i was sewed in the inner part the outer part of it and the hook was sewn in the inner part so this is all done and i'm just going to show you how i'm going to put it on this is how it looks and so you're just going to wrap it around your waist and then hook it and that is it and yeah so thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one bye